Wolves' Romain Sace-Eager to keep scoring after netting winner against Brighton. Wolves defender Romain Sace is targeting more match-winning contributions after firing his goal shy side to an overdue Premier League victory. Sace was hailed as the Maldini from Morocco by boss Bruno Lage following his decisive first-half volley in Wednesday's 1-0 success at Brighton. Eight placed Wanderers had gone four games without finding the net before the trip to the south coast, with bottom club Norwich the only side to have scored fewer times this season. Sace, who struck a post in the second half and was also on the score sheet at the Amex Stadium last season, hopes to continue chipping in, starting at home to Chelsea on Sunday. I'm always happy to score goals, he said, according to Wolves' official website. I was close to scoring a second as well. It's something I try to improve on, every season I get a lot of chances, so I try to improve. I'm happy to score again in this stadium. Let's go and why not another one on Sunday? Sace expertly fired into the bottom left corner with his weaker foot just before the halftime whistle following a sumptuous assist from Ruben Neves. While many pundits eulogized Neves' dink pass, the 31-year-old was eager to take his share of the credit after claiming his third strike of the season in all competitions. I know him very well now, for a lot of years, so it was a fantastic pass from a fantastic player, say said of Neves. But I think I deserve some credit for the finish with my right foot. I never use my right foot, which is why I'm happy as well. Although Brighton midfielder Enoch Mwepu squandered an excellent chance for an instant equaliser, Wolves should have won by more after missing numerous second-half chances. Marcel and Sace each struck the woodwork, while Daniel Potence and Francisco Trincao were guilty of being wasteful. A successful trip to Sussex was marred slightly by Huang He Chan limping off injured inside 15 minutes after Rayonate Nauri picked up a knock in the warm-up. Lage is waiting to discover the extent of the issues. For now I don't have any information about Huang, said the Portuguese coach. It was a foul, and I think he felt something afterwards, so he had to come out.